Welcome back, family. We are absolutely dominating. Another good day. It is fantastic. It's like the bread recipe gives and gives and then gives more. And for those who are thinking, what are you talking about? Well, we're going to talk about some of the best stocks to buy now. And I'm going to go through, and these are the ones I like. I do the episode where I pick out the ones you like. I want to talk about some of the best stocks to buy now that I like because these are the ones I think are, could make us a good amount of money moving forward and the reasoning behind it. And of course, for those who have been following, we had the, the day trading again where we did make money yet again. It's like day after day with that using the bread recipe and the other technicals that I teach over at the course, which if you have not joined this course, please do. It is out there. Code MOE. This thing has been months in the making. I'd say years in the making. We put it together. It is out there. Top notch stuff. The price will be going higher here uh, very, very soon, literally days away from the 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 price increase and the codes and all this so code moe at checkout saves you lifetime access so take advantage of that and of course if you want to come over and see what i'm buying and selling in my portfolio stock mo patreon down below and you can come over and get trade alerts from all four of us over at the stock squad those links are down below what's happening out there mo well it looks like christmas right so i'm probably one of the few people out there that you're going to see excited about basically nothing moving this is 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 uh, 0.0. The Russell's up a little bit, VIX down. So with that being said, you don't expect much movement in the market. It's basically flat. But for those following me, you know the best stocks to buy now that I believe in. And we have TMF. And I'm going to go over the technicals of TMF. Uh, Tesla doing its thing. Neo down a little bit after a major run, but we're going to look at that as well. And of course, some of the other things out here. But I wanted to talk about these because... TM, I want to start with TMF. TMF's having a heck of a day. 4.95% up, major part of my portfolio. So this is the kind of day where I look in there and I see massive gains because I'm already loaded to the gills with this and I've been buying nonstop. I've been DCAing into this. So a lot of good money being made with TMF. And you can say, well, well how much? Well, over the last month alone, 32%, and you get paid interest on this. For those who do not know, I got a little bit of good news for you. You get paid Friday on your TMF shares. And so if you're in TMF and you're like, what do you mean? I get more money? Yes. Not only did you get your 32% this month, you were also going to get roughly 50 cents a share dividend paid to your account on Friday. I believe it's Friday. Don't quote me on this, but I think it's roughly 50 cents a share. So if say you have 500 shares, you're going to go ahead and get a check for, you'll get money put in your account for $250 roughly, give or take a little bit. And for those, I know there's some of you out there said you have 5,000 shares. That means you get a check for like 200 or $2,500 plus you made all that money. So good stuff happening out there. I didn't want the family to know this. It is dividend time. It happens once every three months. And so it's that time of the, the year again where we get a little bit of payment. Now, uh, TLT is the underlying holding. And I want people to realize this is 9.96. So basically, TMF with the decay and everything else should be only up 20, 29 point, like 29.8, 29.7. But if you look, it's up way over 28 and 29. It's up 32. It's up over 2% more than it should be. So for those who always yelled about me and they made videos about me, oh, he's, he doesn't count decay. Where's the decay? It's actually up more than it's supposed to be. In other words, I've said this before that the decay over a year will average around 5%. So if it doesn't move and it just stays flat, we'll lose about 5%. But on the good runs, not only will we get our 3%, we could actually make more. And this is one of them examples in real time, real money, where we made about 2% more than we should have. And so I did want to bring that to your attention, that the, even with the cost and everything associated with this, we're still making money and you're getting paid 50 cents a share at the end of the, at the end of this week and so this is fantastic so good things i'm happy for everybody uh yeah and that's something i always i want people to realize that there's a way to make money tlt also has its, its interest payments out there that we get paid for that I, I think that's monthly i don't know if that's monthly or quarterly but you can check on that so i wanted to come in here take a look uh, put in tmf and then talk about a few stocks so tmf we're not going to do the minute chart on this one we're going to do the day chart on this one now, I told you what, for those who follow my channel, I told you using the bread recipe, we broke the RSI up here. I said, you're going to expect some consolidation over the next week. 
Uh, then we got up here again. I said at this point we rose again, but we need three to four days of consolidation. So one, two, three. I said expect a move higher where we will test above 66. And then right here we got down. If you, oh, it's going to 50. You know, the, the the bears want it to go down because they're getting short squeezed. So they I had I get a lot of comments that state things like, oh, it's it's done, it's gonna fall. And I said it's going to hit 70 before the end of January, most likely. So in this point, from what I'm seeing, we jump all the way from, down in the 63s here, all the way up to what today? 67. You get that gap up that I told you after three to four days. This one only took three days in consolidation. Then it popped up. So I expect this to continue. Now we are getting close to the RSI again. So I always expect a little bit of a give back and then the next run up or it continues on until we get back above that red line. Then we get the consolidation. That red line it, to me is 60, uh, 70. So if we hit the red line, it means we hit our price point of 70. And we got to, you know, we got to be careful for those who day trade this at that time. You know, you got to think, is it going to really run more? Probably not until, you know, after into February, March, when we, we expect those rate cuts to come and things could change. Uh, so that's kind of how I'm watching this. I just want everybody to know that. It's a great stock, one of the best stocks to buy now, in my opinion. And I do believe, and because I get a lot of questions of where can this stock go, Mo? Where can the TMF family expect it to hit? Well, if you come out and you look at the, the life of this, we're still down at the lows. Like, you look at this right here, and you can see this is the lifetime of TMF. It, the lowest it ever was was 74.10. The lowest ever was down in that range. We're at 67.68. We're not even back to where it, the lowest was in the history of this thing. We're still below it. So when people say to me, Mo, can it run higher? Can it go higher? Yes, absolutely. My call is this. If we have a recession, you will see this go to $100 to $200 range. And that range is right in here, right in here. So $100 to $200 range if we have a recession. If we don't have a recession and it takes a while, after the first rate cut, I do expect it to be between 100 to 200 within 24 months. I said that at 38.90 a share. We're now at 67. So for those who followed me, you're up about 70%. And, and we can pull that out right down here. We'll put it up. That's 71.78%, as you guys can see on the screen. You're up. You're doing good. You're making money, and that's the plan. So I've been DCAing through this, and I think we're at the point where this should continue to run. But after that first rate cut, I expect more magic to happen, and we'll get moving within I, my conservative. I think 24 months will be in the 100 to 200 range. My aggressive, before the end of 2024, we will be up to the 100 to $200 range. That's my aggressive. Uh, and so the worst case scenario is if we have inflation rebound and then we will push back down and I probably would get out of this personally uh, if I see that happening. If inflation starts to strike its ugly head up, I'll buy some put options as protection and either DCA into the stock and make money on the put options and move that back in once I think inflation's done again. So in other words, I do have a plan and I will share that with the family on here. So that's one of the best stocks that I now that I like. But hey, for the big winners, I made some moves out there. Uh, I sold more dish options earlier in the day when we were spiking up. Uh, I had 100 dish options and you guys know I brought this to you back in the fours on Friday. Right here is where I bought. That's the time too, man. You can see this. We were up... Uh, right here and since then it's up 8.35 percent i put thousands of dollars into this and thousands of dollars worth of options and these options are up 50 50 percent they were up 88 percent earlier today it uh, depends when you get out of them and but i know i'll just say between 50 and 80 percent up in two trading days uh, i bought two week out options they are still doing this thing i still think there's more room to run with this of course uh, if you look at the technicals on this thing look at this beautiful the 13 cross that's why i bought it and then you can see it run up after that's usually what happens when you see that but the rsi is getting close so i wanted to take some profit off of the options they're only two week options so what i need is one more big day in here uh, i'd lock in a little bit more gain as we close in on the rsi up here that is a warning shot for me and so i am watching all this so i, I like it i like it i did short a stock i'm gonna bring this up uh, i shorted starbucks uh, based on the reverse because i wanted to prove a point to people that you can get out there and make money on the bread recipe on the down. You could buy puts, you can short, whatever. And then of course I bought another one just to let you guys know, laser based on the bread recipe up. Uh, not that, and this is a penny stock, so it's high risk, but you can see the five crossing over, the third 
15s getting close to the 50. I'm buying this a few days ahead of time because I want to see if it can hit that 1350. If that crosses over, I would expect this to move up. It's flat for the day, no big gains, no big losses, but I am watching these two plays. To me, they were the best stocks to buy now, and I wanted to bring them to the family, and that's what we just did here. So good things happening out there. The markets are doing their things. We're making money on TMF. If you are making money on TMF, put a fire emoji down below in the comments. Let me know how many shares you have and where are you from? I always like seeing where everybody's from. If you got questions you want to ask me, if you got anything you want to talk about, put it down below in the comments. I do videos. I answer the comments uh, either directly or in the video and I try to help you out I'm trying to do more and more commenting so if you have something you want to say put some positive comments down below I'm tired of the negative comments from people out there always want to troll and stuff let's have let's kill this with positivity I would love to see it all right folks if you haven't done it get over to the stock mo Patreon or not stock mo page it's stock mo course man learn the bread recipe take advantage of this code moe join the family today tons of people join it i appreciate it it's a great course positive feedback is there and of course join the stock mo patreon you want to see what i'm buying and selling all this good stuff and the stock squad we got good things happening and we got one more get some free money where do you get free money well over here at the moomoo click the link you get a hundred dollars uh deposit gets you five free stocks free level two data thousand dollar deposit gets you 15 free stocks plus that level two data so take advantage of all that folks don't let free money sit on the table i appreciate you stopping by let's get out there and make some money